it's a blessing to have good neighbors. Who knew that butchering chickens would be so good at building community? first intention when we started raising these chickens was to keep the hens and process the roosters for meat. Well, of the 12 surviving chickens, only two are roosters and they're getting along peacefully so we're going to go ahead and just keep them. Today's pretty exciting. Well, it's interesting. The neighbors just down the road are going to be processing some chickens of their own. They're extra roosters as it turns out. And they've got a really neat setup. I offered to help just so I could see their process in action. I don't know if they're going to let me film anything over there, but if they do, I'll show you what it looks like. You gotta see these chickens. How you doing? What do you think? That's right, you're you're one of the chickens we're not gonna process. Lucky chickens. these yours? The ones in the containers, yeah. All right. See, they're shaking it. So these chickens are American breast. They're a dual purpose bird. My neighbors have friends and family over to, to help out. And some of them brought their own chickens to process. We've got a couple of scalding stations, the plucker, these old buckets will be the killing cones, a nice stainless steel table here for cutting them up, keeping everything clean, pretty organized. so much that you just give us a beautiful morning. And, uh, <laughs> I think of the uh, agony and the things that are going on now. And we pray for Monique, dear Lord, that uh, you bless her and take care of her. And uh, your spirit just run among the, amongst the family there. And that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ be brought before their eyes, before their minds. Salvation. <coughs> We just pray and thank you to keep us safe, keep us from cuts and in our travels, Father, keep us safe. Uh, we thank you once again that we have uh, a group here that uh, we can trust and rely on. We just thank you so much in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, Sarah, before you go, I want you to go down like the blackberry with me and tell me what I need to do. Okay. Does Wendy want any blackberry plants? She might. Really? Okay. Yeah. So you, well, well they'll enough. be there uh, every oh, year. Are you supposed to tell me? Yeah. So, Inside. Inside. Grandma. <laughs> yeah. Next to the refrigerator. Yeah. Slide out drawer. Bottom yeah. drawer. There's some knife sharp. Oh, and put the end in. in. That's what I do. Yeah, that's fine. You got it on. Oh, yeah. Fine. Uh, we had a neighbor that had uh, been out uh, brush hogging with his tractor, uh, and yeah. he uh, came feet. along and, and hit a stump or a root, we think. And it flipped him off the tractor. Okay, he didn't have why don't a roll bar. And he didn't us. have a seatbelt on. We're not ready to and start then, yet uh, anyway. Uh, I know how to do it too. 
ended up falling under the tractor into the brush hog and then it pretty much cut him up. And uh, we think he bled out on the way to the hospital and he was dead there. So. But anyway, and this happened a week ago Saturday. So anyway, anyway, yeah. Tragedy, great tragedy. Yeah. So. Thank you, sir. So, of course, this video is going to be graphic. Just let everybody know. Don't watch if you're too squeamish. So I tried two and then feel for the bird. This is how it works. <laughs> she lost you're count. You're supposed to be. Let go, let go, let go. Let go. It's getting close, okay. Push it down in there. Leave it in there. <laughs> Are you guys going to want your legs? If not, I want them. You mean feet? feet? You want your yeah. legs. Man, she's weird. She does weird. I mean, I just we're don't have We're getting there. Yeah, we're close. Well, I'll close make enough. you I'll make you some... Um, okay, should we do it all over? Well, no, you're fine. I don't. I use them. That was probably about 45 oh. seconds, okay? So <laughs> no, that was maybe soon. Okay, push it down in there. You want to count to 45 for me? Push the feathers down. There you go. Mom. Are you counting? Oh no, you gotta count faster than that. Come on. How we doing? Oh, we're pretty close. Give it about 10, 15 more. Count of 15. I don't know how hot my water is anymore. Sarah, got the temperature going over there somewhere. Oh yeah, that's what we want, right? Like that. About a minute. I don't know where my temperature is though, so. so 148. So <laughs> yeah, 148. Top, 144. Yeah, 144 to 148. Turn it up just a touch. And we need to turn this on. Fucking job, look at that. New new fingers. New brand new fingers. Nice. Uh, wow, they're skinny. Of... Well yeah, they're I thought they were fatter than that. Rest, dear. You'd have to feed them out another yeah, six these months to get them fattened up. These aren't the Cornish cross. No no. They're so little. <laughs> well, that one's bigger than that one. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I noticed it when I put him in there. So. Mom, they're tiny. Are you gonna trick a seat? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fossil reflex. Yep. shelves on the left you'll see some metal pans if you just want a metal pan or yeah. there's also ziploc bags in there somewhere too if you want to grab that and put them in so how many years have you been processing chickens Sarah, how many years have we been doing chicken it's funny that birds would go up the chickens would go up and peck yeah six seven maybe uh cornish cross every year uh we kind of switched off to these so we usually we did cornish cross in the spring and the fall but we went back to just, we did them in the spring, right? Yes. And we took, hauled everything down to her house <laughs> and did them down there because she raised them. And then sell us a bunch of them. Mm. You know. Okay. Not quality. I'm going to run this. Yeah. Smaller birds, we run two at a time because <laughs> then they can bounce off each other. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Get, get that dunk in there. So, the older the birds, the harder it is to get the feathers out. Did you know that? Mm, I did not know that. Yeah. As these guys age, um, now I don't know how old these guys are. Most of them, actually, four of them are from March. Over eight months, eight and a half months. Two so. okay, I think it's about done. Been Thank in there for about 80 seconds.
on. Let me see if I can find the switch. So the new fingers, um, it's so much nicer. Um, we suffered through the old fingers. Uh, you kept them for how long? Three or four years, probably. So, you know, these new fingers are doing a great job. Depends we'll dump them out here. Yeah. It just depends. Uh, we won't put them in the trash. Or for coyotes or whatever. Nobody eats them. Okay. Uh, so sad you'll have other chickens when we let them out to free range every once in a while they come up and eat the little feathers. I don't know why. All right. Enough milk. <laughs> you know, it's like they're a gourmet dish or something. But, you know, sometimes we'll give the dogs the main guts and everything. Mm -hmm. And then some of it we'll just go out to the field, out beyond. And uh, uh, another reason to have decent no, dogs around to keep the predators yeah. away. Dogs will eat what they want and then the small things will eat it. But, Weasels, and you got your skunks, weasels, and others that'll come in and eat a little bit here and there. So. Yeah. Birds, probably. Other birds. birds uh, ravens, uh, buzzards. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll take advantage of it too. Yeah. yeah. By the go. stupid chicken. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, we got alcohol. Oh my goodness. At least yeah. you didn't get headbutted. Kidney? That's true. For long. Uh, what is this? Probably kidney. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, guys planning on keeping any of the organs or no. just the meat? Not yeah. Usually we keep the liver. livers and hearts and I freeze dry them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Can I put this over here? Yeah. Wow. Oh, you know I We didn't even check. Sorry, Andy, see which which ones will go to which house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many have you done so far? Uh, there's yeah, those are okay. So, uh, everything from here on out. That you okay, do so these are all Amy's. So these two are Amy's. Oh, those are all Amy's. You had six, right? Yeah. Okay. And there's two okay. in the. Yeah. I don't know this one's this. bigger. Yeah. It's still bony. We had yeah. So, what am I doing? Um. Doing good. You can come yeah. Yeah. on the back side sometimes. She knows where it's at milk. better than I do. <laughs> this is not a very big knife. See, cut. when I There's make no my butter and yogurt, I keep all the whey and I soak their their feet in the whey. I don't save it, you know, like I just do it the very next day. This being the liver is what you were saving before? Yeah. Okay. We went down a week a week ago or two weeks? Oh. A week ago and got four gallons because they said they had extra. Oh, yeah. Okay, and that's it. Rinse it off, stick it in the sink. The lungs are the hardest part I found. Yeah, I kind of use your nails. You know, I, sometimes my hands are too big to yeah, get in there and... <laughs> you think that one tastes the best? Yeah. All right. Which one is your favorite, though? Uh, that one. That one? Mm-hmm. Nice. My favorite rooster is at home. Oh, yeah? Well, that's a lucky two, rooster. A bunch of them at a time. <laughs> it's a, and that it's makes the biggest two. one, Changing so I call him king. For me, it would yeah. be and then like I have every six the, months. So we're keeping two. And one of them's dirty because well, he has some dirty feathers on his side that they aren't actually dirty, but they're kind of, they look dirty. Well, 
So do you guys worry about um, not feeding them like the day before you're going to process? Usually, yeah. yeah. It helps. It helps on the, uh, what's, what's the sack, sir? The crop. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen them where they still eat. They'll eat if there's any grass out or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, but I've been known to forget and let them out in the fields and eat bugs or grass oh, yeah. or whatever. So, yeah. so this thing is nasty. Uh, I've got this one for you. Give me a second. Here. Do you want the wings off? You can got a little helper there. Yes, she's she helping me out there. What's Grandpa doing? Oh, no. On your bed. Look at Millie. Millie. <laughs> oh, there you go. In the bucket. In the bucket. Oh, my goodness. I got 50 more degrees to be able to bang. Good job. There's one more piece. Grab it. That's a liver. <laughs> nice. Show me your hands real quick. In the front. Very good. <laughs> there we go again. Is that better for you? Yeah. Good job. And these aren't the best knives in the world. They've got a cheap metal to them, so they don't last. So tell me, what's your name and how old are you? Five, and my name is Millie. Nice. Good job, Millie. Got an escapee. Yeah. turkeys we're not processing those today these are your grandma's sweet potatoes wow how small down those here. are huge yeah. yeah looks like we've got others up there too these things are the biggest sweet potatoes i've seen
Having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty good place to grow up, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, it was unexpected, but I'm very grateful to have a chicken to take home. This was a fun day. That was a wonderful gathering of good people. It's a blessing to have good neighbors. Who knew that butchering chickens would be so good at building community? Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.